Hello to all you astronomers, space junkies, and YouTubers that happen to stumble across my video. My name is Brian Schmiel, and today I'll be discussing hypervelocity stars. So what are hypervelocity stars? Well, to start off, hypervelocity stars are also known as HVSs for short. They're classified in the high velocity star group, which also includes runaway stars and halo stars. But what makes an HVS so unique is the extreme speed at which it travels. Ordinary stars have a velocity in the order of 100 kilometers per second, whereas HVSs have a velocity in the order of 1,000 kilometers per second. This high velocity gives the star enough speed to exceed the escape velocity of the galaxy, which means the speed at which the kinetic energy plus the gravitational potential energy of an object is zero, the speed needed to break free from the gravitational attraction of a massive body. So these HVSs have enough velocity to leave their galaxy and travel further into the universe. Currently, in our galaxy, there are 18 unbound HVSs that only approach the center of our galaxy once, and 16 bound HVSs that follow the same path over and over. So the real question is, how do stars become hypervelocity stars? Dr. Jack Hills first predicted the existence of hypervelocity stars in 1988. It was stated that HVSs originated from binary stars that come into close encounter with black holes, like the one suspected at the center of the Milky Way. The inserted picture isn't exactly how most astronomers depict it, but it gives you a good idea of the process. What happens is a pair of stars in orbit with each other, binary stars, move near a black hole. While in orbit, one gets too close and is sucked into the black hole, sending the other off at an extreme speed. This becomes what we now know as a hypervelocity star. Dr. Hill compared this process to a stone in a slingshot, but a better analogy of this would be Dr. Warren R. Brown's example of a pair of skaters holding hands and spinning. If one falls down, the other will go flying, just like the binary stars. The first known HVS came as the discovery of the SDSS J090745 plus 24507. The complex name is based on its coordinates in the sky. This HVS was found by a team of astronomers at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center of Astrophysics in 2005. The team was led by Dr. Warren R. Brown, who is pictured on this slide. Dr. Brown simply refers to the HVS as the outcast. The velocity of the outcast was clocked at 1.5 million miles an hour, twice as much needed to escape the galaxy's gravitational pull. The outcast is a blue star and is three times as massive as the sun in the constellation Hydra. It is flying through our galaxy, already 196,000 light years from the center of the Milky Way, as compared with our sun, which is only 30,000 light years. This HVS is one that has indeed originated from our galaxy, as its trail leads straight to the center of it, where astronomers suspect a giant black hole dwells. The drawing on this page was done by Elwood H. Smith and was featured in the original article published in the Science Times section of the New York Times. An international team of astronomers has discovered a new class of hypervelocity stars. Original hypervelocity stars are large blue stars and originate from the galactic center. The new stars are relatively small, about the size of the sun, and don't appear to have come from the galactic center. As seen in the photo here, all the paths are, are coming from outside of our galaxy, the Milky Way. So the new question is, what boosts these stars up to such an extreme velocity? Is there a new way to form hypervelocity stars? For more information about hypervelocity stars, check out the links at the end of each page. I hope you enjoyed the presentation, and thanks for watching.